So we have successfully made our repository using the method one or the using source control. Now in the method two, we are going to make the same repository to the GitHub by using only and only terminal. So I'm not going to use the git source control option, but I'm going to use only the terminal. So for that, let me head over to demo two. I'm not switching demo two because the demo one is already installed with git as I have explained in method one. So let me head to demo two, which is not initialized with git. Let me be sure. Yes, initialize repository. Demo two is not initialized with repository, but I'm not going to click this because this, if I click this, it goes to the category of method one. So I'm going to do all my job using the terminal. Now the shortcut for the terminal is control and back tick. The key before number one, the key at left of number one, that is control or back tick. Or you can also find it here it at terminal new terminal then control shift and this back tick it's vs code demo 2 now inside it i have to initialize git so i have git in it it says initialize git repository and you will see changes here made all are these represented as green represented by green and inside this these are unstaged files which are waiting to be get staged to the github this is as same as in method one so let me have so git commit so um, why i'm doing commit because in the method one i have a message like whatever i want banana uncle sam whatever i have to pass to in order to push it to the github to in order to make it visible to the github so let me add git commit with m flag why m like m means message m can be nothing and then space and let me retype if it's first git space commit space hyphen m space double quotes and inside the double quote you can add anything like banana or you can type uncle sam or raju waju etc since this is demo 2 so i'm going to write demo 2 and demo 2 and first of all before committing before committing you have to push you have to make while using terminal you have to make sure that you are following the correct sequence so before committing you have to push you have to add so space dot a dot followed by space this is not right add immediately a dot immediately by add it's not add space dot get it this says this will be replaced okay okay this has been added and now i said git commit my same command and this is demo 2 and let me hit enter it said six file change and you see that these are all back to normal that means all of these which were all of these files which were here waiting to be get staged are now staged at the github and they are waiting to be pushed to the github so one thing to one thing to observe here is i run git in it the order the order in which one thing to uh, consider here is the order i have git initialize i've initialized the git first and then git add i have added the files to git before committing so i have git add and then i have committed after only after adding i have committed the message and now what i will do from here go to your github since this is demo 2 and i have made demo 1 already in the previous section so i'll make a new repository new with demo 2 sorry with uh, demo 2 it's available yes it's available description uh, description might be from terminal it says public and private i'll go for public git ignore i'll later creating repository now it has created repository now unlike the method one in which i copied this https and then pasted it in at remote if you remember i pasted the https github 
link in add remote now instead of this i will go to i'll go down scroll down and push an existing repository from the command line cli that means terminal if i'm pushing the my project or files from the terminal i have to go for this option so let me copy this because i have to run both of these commands let me copy these let's head back to vs code and let me paste control v the first command is auto completed auto run and the second command says git push u origin master that means git push uh, flag u origin master origin means origin the file the initial the parent from the parent repository that you have made just now and let me hit enter and let me wait up it's pushing it's pushing and it has pushed so why i did git push you origin master first of all why i have did this this is done to make sure that i have a connection to https this link i have connection of these files these files to this repository okay so, and now what is this for git push your origin master so that i have to push i might be able to push so this is same like this you are pushing from here in the method one you push from here or you either push from that cloud device i showed you cloud cloud icon it is same like here git push you origin master it's just i'm typing the terminal so let me hit control r and here you see this is indeed demo 2 inside demo 2 i have contracts inside it i have inbox.sol inside test i have index test.js and then package.json package down log.json so what do i have i have all these stages changes as zero and now my whole pack and the whole demo 2 project has been uploaded uploaded to git if you don't trust me let's head over my let's over to my dashboard let me search demo one this is through this is from the source control this is from the source control method one source control we passed the perimeter that the message like here we pass inside the terminal we pass like banana ankle sam etc we pass from the source control so it reflects here from the source control and let me be sure of terminal it's show more where is demo 2 demo true and the commit must be from terminal oh sorry demo 2 i forgot to put the commit as demo 2 i might have yes instead of the head demo 2 it might be from source control anyways that doesn't make a difference that doesn't make a difference now in the very starting i told you what is git git is a version control system version control system now you will understand what is version control system in a better way now since you have uploaded this to your git repository this code to your git repository this is a version this has become an instance a version whatever you say so version control system makes sure that uh, if you edit or if you delete or if you create new files folders it will make sure that this version the updated version also gets committed to the github so let me make sure what this means now this is a version if i do any editing or deleting or updating then it will track the change here so let me have editing let me comment this out and it show it shows a blue line that means i have made a commit i have made a change to the committed profile now it turns the orange that means it has been updated or it has been edited so let me on comment this out and let me wait it returns back to its normal state that means the older version that you have installed to get and if i am committing out i am changing the version or changing the instance of my file i am committing out and let me delete 
let me delete and you will see a red this type of arrow let me click on the arrow it says uh, it says the following um, following line has been deleted from here that was const source is equal to fs dot read file saying was that so let me be sure control z yes read file saying that was the file so let me delete it and it's like updating and deleting whenever you go for updating and deleting git make sure that you are updated with the version now it's all right so what is this instead of repeating the whole procedure you just go to version according to method one i'm telling the method one according to version you go to this one stage changes this is the file compile js yes, because i have made changes to compile js yes only you can see compile js yes, i made changes go to compile stage stage changes it has stage changes and you can type anything like um, version sorry the type spelling version changed and you can push and you can either push from here or you can pull from here it's your chance push and pull comes from the module okay it's pushing it's pushing it's rotating rotating and it's done so let me head to chrome um, i hope that was demo one or it was demo two and did we have it was demo 2 so let me be sure that demo 2 receives the commit as version updated version change so here you save version change in compile.js because i deleted the two of my sentences i deleted two of my sentences here let me see i have changed two of my inbox path.cl i have committed this out module.exports is equal to solc.compile it has commented out so this is according to method one and if i do a change like this let me head to this if i change to deploy.js it's empty unfortunately let me head to inbox.test.js and if i uncomment or comment this out and let me delete these two ones let me delete these ones so instead of git storing using the source control let me have git add and one more command i have showed you it says git hmm. the one more command is git status if you want to show see if you want to see the status of your files that means changes not stage for commit use git for modified text inbox.js it says test in test inbox.test.js is modified inbox.test.js is modified yes it is modified so git status shows you the status of the version what changes you have made to the version and what upgradation you have made to the version so i have git add with space and add dot git add git comment m flag let me have a version changed hit enter and then get push simple get push i'm not including git push origin master because that this is not the parent repository and we have get push it's pushing let me wait and it has pushed so you will see in the demo too you will see a commit or a parameter with initial commit as what was the initial version change so inside demo 2 you will see in the test box.js inbox.test.js you will see version change version change test.js version change you will see version change this is because of terminal and this version in compiler.js this is due to source control option of vs code so in this video i showed you two methods of deploying to get a repository making a git and deploying to github the first is through the version control and second is through the terminal you can choose whatever you want if you either choose git go for git 
it through the source control or if you want to do it all by terminal you can do it in the terminal way it's your choice at the last at the end it is going to be stashed here and your git repositories it all be shown in the repository section of your lab, uh, home page okay so this video took a long time and that's because i wanted to give you all that i know in the best and easiest possible way so guys if you make better best out of this video and if you like this video then please hit the like button and if you like my content then please subscribe the channel thank you have a nice day